what is up guys i've got exciting news for you today because another company has reached out to me and they are looking for care workers today i wanted to share a video on the high potential visa and the scale up visa because there's been an update but a whole lot of people are looking for jobs so i said that let me share these job openings with you and then in my next video i'll give you an update on the high potential visa and the scale up visa so subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss that update if you're all you're new to my channel my name is pauline Pokomoyo, and in this channel we keep things real and for the returning subscribers guys thank you so much for all your love and support because the family has grown up to 15,000 imagine 15,000 and i'm really grateful for that guys so without wasting any of your time let's get into it all right they're asking for the queen i'm a baby she's a savage look 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 back while i turn no comparison i'm a savage yeah. classy bougie magic yeah. sassy movie hey nasty hey. yeah the name of the company that I'm going to be talking about today is Hierarchy Business Solutions Limited and it is located in the beautiful country of Scotland. So I'm going to be telling you details about this company and what the requirements are and the eligibility criteria. So make sure that you watch this video to the end because I'm going to drop the email in the video where you can send in your applications. So guys, this company has already applied for a sponsor so that they sponsor people who are overseas, which means they're going to be offering a certificate of sponsorship. However, they found the home office yesterday and the home care office highlighted that they can actually employ people who are coming from Ukraine. Because people who are coming from Ukraine, when they come to the site, they already have their visas and everything and they can start working. And the beauty of this company is that they do not require you to have any qualifications because they do on the job training and they train all their workers SVQ, which is equivalent to NVQ. So if you are offered a job with this company, they are actually going to train you on the job and you have an NVQ certificate. Isn't that amazing, guys? Smash that like button if this is amazing. And... Don't forget to subscribe so they are expecting to have their sponsor license within the next three weeks so what they're going to do they're going to prioritize people who be coming in from ukraine because people who are coming from ukraine are expected to start arriving in scotland as from monday if any of those people are interested to work as support workers they can actually apply to this company and they can be trained and they can become support workers so far i think this is the first company that i had that is going to be doing that so i can simply say that i'm dropping it while it's still hot have you heard of any company which does that i doubt so this is really good guys so you can also go ahead and apply but even if they are providing on the job training guys i am not saying if you've got zero 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 qualifications go ahead and apply i always say you need to have a bit of experience and you need to have some form of qualification so that you stand out from the rest because obviously if someone has got a nvq2 and is applying to be a support worker and you've got no qualification at all if i'm an employer i'll obviously choose someone with nvq2 or nvq3 certificate or any form of qualification so some of you might be wondering what a support worker is a support worker is no different from a senior care assistant and uh, a home care worker only difference is usually in the salary because they usually earn more so i'm not going to discuss the salary with you in this video you i'm going to leave the details so that you form the company and you find out for yourself but what you're basically going to be doing you're going to be going to clients places so this company has got private clients so which means you'll be attending to private clients and it also has a contract with the council just because they've got a contract with the council they've been experiencing an exponential growth and that's why they need more care workers 
so they deal with clients with mental and learning disability you might wonder what a mental and the learning disability is i'm going to define it for you so when we're looking at mental health conditions we've got mental health conditions like we've got bipolar disorders depression eating disorders attention deficit hyperactivity disorder schizophrenia bipolar alcohol abuse just to mention a few. So according to the Equality Act 2010, a mental health condition is manageable. However, it is considered a disability if it has long-term effects and it is affecting your day-to-day -day living. Because this condition has got a long-term effect on their day-to-day -day life, you are going to be assisting them with activities of daily living. And when you're looking at activities of daily living, we're looking at things like bathing, grooming, feeding, assisting with mobility, administration of medication, just to mention a few. Then a learning disability is defined by the Department of Health as a significant reduced ability to understand new complex information that is impaired intelligence and have a reduced ability to cope independently, which means they've got impaired social functioning and you're also going to be assisting them with the activities of daily living, which I've already mentioned. So this company deals with these types of clients with mental and learning disabilities. So they also have flexible working hours. You can do day shift, you can do night shift, you can do half day. And even if you are a student, you can actually apply and go and work with this company. I've had so many students asking me that my visa is about to expire. What do I do and stuff like that? This is an opportunity. You can actually apply to this company and go and be working, whether you're working part-time or you're working full-time, or you are looking to switch from a student visa if you finish to a health and care visa you are going to send your applications to you send your emails to savannah at hbsolutions.co.uk then for the website and the phone number of the head office i'm going to leave it in my description box i'll also post their flyer in my community page so that you go and check it out i also post it across all forms of social media that i use so that you can phone for yourselves if there's any additional information that you need okay guys in case i missed anything in the video i'm going to read the email which she sent to me it says um hi pauline as discussed see the attached document for job description so the company name is i've already stated hierarchy business uh, solutions limited ta hierarchy support services and it has been running for over two years now and have a great fork which is good from k inspectorate for managing the service we provide support to people with mental and learning disabilities all over scotland and they also provide support to private clients and local councils in scotland so this is the information which was communicated to me via email hopefully i did not miss any information in the video and i will leave the rest of the information in the description box so guys send in your applications but what you have to know is that they are going to be prioritizing people who are coming from ukraine and as soon as they get their sponsor license which they're expecting to get within the next three weeks they are going to go through the applications from people who are overseas and they'll start shortlisting people for the job so guys may you help spread this word by sharing this video to as many people as possible so that if the people are coming from ukraine and are willing to go and work as support workers they can go and work as support workers you can also apply so that you can and work as support workers so this is the wonderful information that i wanted to share with you guys don't forget to like subscribe and share and remember in my next video i'm going to be giving you an update on the high potential individual visa and the scale up visa and you don't want to miss this video because we know the scale up visa is open to other professionals we're looking at electricians we're looking at engineers accountants teachers and so forth and so on guys so thank you so much for watching guys much love from me to you i'll see you in my next video